Hey what's up guys, my name is Eric or Hazardous and welcome back to a new GTA 5 stunting video. So today, I'm gonna be hitting two stunts that I've given up on like the past three years. <laughs> right, so sometimes when I film these stunting videos, I often give up uh, midway and switch to another stunt. And today we're gonna be going back and hitting two stunts that I remember that I've given up on um, in the past. One of them is this one right here, we need to bump off that curb. So I actually have to fly all the way over here, I have to land in the river. Then ramp off this bit and make it into that garage over there. And the second stunt is going to be a precision stunt. So it's not going to be a parking garage entry. We're going to be doing two different types of stunts today. So it should be a really interesting video. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And yeah, let's go and give this first stunt a first attempt here. All right, so I obviously need a lot more speed than last time. And I need to also not hit this sign. That'd be great. <laughs> and also, I can't remember if I've shown these stunts before. I might have in like a top 10 stunts episode or something like that way, way back. And yeah, then I wanted to try that myself and it just didn't really work. So hopefully today I can redeem myself and try and hit these two stunts for you guys. Let's see, maybe we shouldn't do that big of a wheelie, just kind of fly off it. Yeah, there we go. I think I need to do a even smaller wheelie actually to fly more forwards. Come on, sharp turn. There you go, that is perfect. Will I make it above the roof though? No, I won't. But that was a really good attempt. Here we go. Nope. Need to do a little bit more wheeler than that. And ooh. Bump up to this one. Oh, that would have been a sick stunt actually. Yeah, there's a bunch of side stunts we can do off of that bump as well. So, so yeah, depending on what bump I get, we can try something else as well. Also, I just noticed that I had vehicle guard mode on. So I'm going to turn that off for now when we try this stunt. There we go. That is actually a really good glide. Please don't hit the roof. Yeah, we hit the roof. Come on, can we at least try to leave the bump this time? Oh, that is not the bump that I wanted to go to. But it actually went better than the other one. Holy crap. Please don't fall off. Please. Why would you fall off at that landing? I didn't even come in that steep. What the heck? But yeah, we hit another bump that time, I think. So maybe we should try that one instead. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, I just missed everything and somehow didn't even fall off that time, what? Also guys, have you seen the updates about the new DLC coming soon? I think it's like some casino DLC, like the Heart of Los Santos. It's actually been a pretty long time since Rockstar released a big DLC for GTA Online. And it's still awesome that they do it, of course, after the game has been out for like... 6 years and online, I think, 5 years. So, yeah, I mean, I just wish that one day... They'd tease something about GTA 5. No, I mean GTA 6. <laughs> like, dude, imagine if they just would drop a trailer for GTA 6 out of nowhere. Obviously, that would never happen. And we didn't see any news about GTA 6 at E3 either, so yeah. As of right now, we have no idea when it's gonna come out. But for now, we're still kicking it in GTA 5. But I really want GTA 6, and seriously, I went right into the poll again. Yeah, Rockstar, if you could, like, just not add polls to GTA 6, that'd be great. So I don't have to hit them every single time I try to stunt. I also hope that they keep the physics from GTA 5 in GTA 6. Like, at least the vehicle physics, because from my standpoint, I think they're absolutely perfect. Like, both are just casual driving and stunting and stuff, so yeah. If they can keep the physics but make a whole new game, that'd be fantastic, so I can do some stunts in a completely new world. It'd also be fantastic if I can get a good bump, and there we go, right as I said it. Ooh, we made it above. Please don't fall off. We're good. We're going a bit too high, though. Go down. And enter. There we go, we got it. We managed to stay on the bike. Let's save the replay, and there we go, the first stunt complete. So let's take a look at that cinematic replay. Alright, here we go. It took me 20 minutes. Not too bad. Um, I have no idea how I gave up on this stunt before. Maybe I just tried it a few times, got some really bad attempts, and then just tried something else. But yeah, now we gotta switch bikes. We gotta switch to the Bati 801 and try a precision stunt. Oh, just spawned in a bike, and an instant cop chase just appeared. And yeah, the current standing between the cops and the pedestrians is 1 to 1. So whoever wins this cop chase will be in the lead. Let's see here. Are we gonna bump them off? Nope. They still got away. They're entering Grove Street though, so luckily I have no pedestrians on, otherwise this would be complete chaos right now. There's not that many pedestrians here, so it's kind of chill for now. Never mind, these guys are attacking the cops now as well. And there goes the cop. I think the pedestrians 
They're trying to get away. Yep, the Destinies are escaping. So that is actually 2-1 to one now. And he just managed to get away, so that is now 2-1 to one to the pedestrians, or the vigilantes, I'm not sure what to call them really. But yes, moving on, the second stunt location is right here. We gotta hit this bump, uh, a bit better than that. We gotta hit this bump, fly through the trees, and land on this silver dog right here. And yeah, I have landed on that dog before, but I think from a different angle. I think I switched from this one to the other one that I hit, because I didn't manage to land it with this one. So yeah, let's see if I can do it today, hopefully. Alright. That is actually a great bump. We need to go a little bit further though. But that was a solid second attempt. There we go. Through the trees. The thing is, flying through those trees will actually decrease my speed quite a bit. Uh, which you guys will notice as I go along here. So yeah, we kind of need to get a good enough bump to fly either fast through them or go above them. And I guess that's what makes this stunt tricky. And of course that we have to land on the dog, which isn't really that big of a landing. That is a good attempt. For sure enough speed, we can even slow down a bit. And we went too far. Of course. <laughs> Come on, I think I hit it right there. Yep. So I need to go more to the right to hit this. Oh, pretty decent bump. Just went way too far from the dog. But that was actually kind of good. But yeah, I said last week that I was going to be doing some classic stunts. Instead of doing these modern stunts, which I've been doing lately. Now, I do think those stunts are really fun to do. Like the mega ramp stunts and like flying across the map and stuff like that. But it's also kind of nice to just go back and hit these classic stunts. Ooh, that's nice. It's actually a perfect glide with a not so perfect landing, but the bump is getting better, so we just gotta try and stay like near the dog because I'm just flying so far away. Also, guys, let me know then in the comments which stunt do you prefer, this one or the parking garage entry? Obviously, you guys know that I love my parking garage stunts, but yeah, let me know from a viewer's standpoint which stunts are more fun to look at, and that is also pretty good. It went straight down. Yeah, I'm not sure what angle I should have when I'm trying to land on it. Maybe a bit more sideways, something like this. I feel like if I come in sideways, I'm just gonna come to a full stop and fall off the bike. So something like this should work. That is not right now. Oh, that was kind of close. Could have slid up to the dog's ear maybe, but <laughs> we face planted into the ground instead. What if we bump off this onto the dog? That could work, but it's gonna be really tricky, I think. Also, guys, I got some really great news. In my next video, I'll be able to announce the date when my next song is gonna be coming out. And it's very soon, it's like in less than 10 days. So in the next video, I'll give you guys a date. And yeah, you guys can pre-save the song and stuff like that on Spotify and be ready for when it comes out. And then I have some more tracks coming out as well throughout the year, which I'm currently working on. So it's finally time to start releasing some new tracks here on my Hazard channel, which is of course my artist channel, and oh, could have done a wall ride up there maybe. Good work. No, no, yes. No. no! That was like one meter too much to the left. Nice. Nope, keep bumping off it. That feels good. This feels like the one, never mind. Come on. Nice. Okay, let's try and hit this now. Might be too low though. No, 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 Stay. Dude, we got it. We got it. Save the replay. Right, it took me another 20 minutes. So not too bad actually for two stunts. As you can see, the hitbox of the dog is a bit weird. You can actually sort of stand on it. But as you can see, if you go too far, It'll fall down. But here we go, we managed to do a dog stunt. What do you think about that, Caesar? Are you impressed with my stunt, buddy? Yeah, he's a bit sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I always try to time my recordings whenever he's sleeping. But anyways, um, let's take a look at the cinematic replay of this stunt. Alright guys, there we have it, two classic stunts, one precision stunt and one parking garage stunt in one video. If you guys did enjoy it, then make sure to give it a like, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later, so until then, take care, and let's drop that beat.